We are at a Nintendo event in New York checking out Nintendo Labo. If you haven't heard about Nintendo Labo is this creatable set of controllers. Basically you make all kinds of different stuff with cardboard. You make a steering wheel or an RC car or a fishing rod and you use those to play all kinds of different games. We are going to be one of the first people to play it. So we're going to build some stuff, we're going to play some stuff, and we're going to check it out. Building the Nintendo Labo controllers is incredibly easy. The Labo kits include sheets of cardboard with carefully scored pieces which you pop out and fold to put together the specific toy con you're looking to build. The two we made had no cutting, taping, or gluing. Everything is safe and simple enough for most kids ages 7 and up to do without much help. It certainly doesn't hurt that the instructions for making each of the toy cons, which you can find in the Nintendo Labo game on the Switch, take you through the process of making them with visual and written instructions. As you watch the 3D Toy-Con model fold itself, you can also rotate and move it, allowing you to clarify what you're looking at. While they are simple to make, the Toy-Con builds seem to be pretty time-consuming. The first one we made, the RC car, took about 10 minutes, but we spent almost an hour on a more complex Toy-Con, the fishing pole, and didn't even finish. We were slow, to be sure, but there are many steps, and the whole thing requires your undivided attention. It feels like an activity which, given the audience, is probably the goal. Once built, many of the toy cons pair with a game. One might call it a mini game. We tried four of them. There's a motorcycle steering column, which pairs with a very simple racing game. You rev your engine by twisting a handle and steer by turning the handlebar. The fishing rod pairs with a fishing game where you cast your line and reel in fish who dare to bite. There's a house, which is more of a toy box than a game. The switch fits inside it and you see the inside of a playhouse. Insert special keys into the sides or bottom of the house and different fun things start happening. Lastly, the piano toy con is a functioning miniature keyboard. You can change its tone and even change the noise each key makes from piano tones to cat noises to men humming bum. You can record what you play, but Nintendo declined to clarify whether or not you'd be able to export the music so it may just be for fun. Lastly, Nintendo also showed the Nintendo Labo Robot Toy Con, which is sold in a separate kit. The robot is a backpack with pulleys that attach to your arms and legs. When you step or punch, a giant on-screen robot does the same. None of these games are especially complex. They're little more than vehicles for using these strange controllers. That won't bother a kid. It may not even bother you. Even after Nintendo explains some of the tools that make the Toy-Cons work, the secret most often is the IR camera in the right Joy-Con. Many of them feel like magic. It's wild that you can make a working piano out of cardboard. In fact, knowing how they work makes them more impressive. The RC car moves fairly accurate thanks to using the Joy-Con's vibration. HD rumble, it, it wasn't just a dream, it really happened, and it works here. <laughs>